Okay, I want to take a look at how to create an activity that will uh, be interactive and get your students uh, talking. So um, I am in my uh, Mr. Barnes community on Ning.com and uh, actually now as you can see up here I am logged in as a student. Uh, welcome to Mr. Barnes community, Neil McLean. This is just a student I made up for purposes of this course. Uh, so as we come down, uh, a few things just to uh, go into some more detail about how the community works. You can see over here I've got latest activity. This is an option. You don't always have to have it, but it's nice if you're using Ning for your class, then you can see anytime something's done. If one of your students comes on and puts in a comment or does anything to their site, you can see it on there. Uh, and you can come down here and see that I have uh, birthdays, which is a, a real nice feature that your kids would really like if you have birthdays. When they register, they have to put a birthday on, so uh, whenever their birthday comes up, it will show up on the site, so that's really nice as well. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create an activity in uh, as a blog. So I would direct my students, let's say maybe we are at school, and I could have them do this at home if they have internet access but if we're at school maybe in a computer lab uh, I might have all of them come in and click on this blog post Howling Hood Hood's Maturation. Uh, we read the book The Wednesday Wars as summer reading uh, Howling Hood Hood is the main character so so we come in here and what they're gonna see is uh, this question about Howling Hood Hood and how he matures and I'm asking them for some examples so it's just a real nice short answer piece and the nice thing is they can kind of work off of each other and uh, it, you know you don't always want to do this but sometimes it's nice to have the students take a look at other students work and see how they're reacting and look at how they write and then you can even comment back and say you know I, I like so and so's response or I like how this person said this or did that and that's a good way for them to see how to do it so what you see here is I, I came in earlier when I was registered or logged in I should say as me and uh, I just started a comment so you could see what it looks like and then I came down again uh, just typed in some letters just to see what comments look like when they're stacked up. So now I am um, this fictitious student, um, Neil McLean, and I'm going to come down here. And if I'm Neil McLean, I'm going to make my comment now. Um, Howling matures in many ways and you see there's there's typo and you know a lot of kids will do that some will fix it some will not you can use it as a teaching tool you can score it for errors you can tell them you want them to be good about it you can say you just want them to write there's a lot of different ways that you can do it depending on what subject area you're in so um, you know he puts his comment in and um, you know he might write three four five sentences and then he clicks add comment so now as you can see we're getting a real nice list of comments here about the blog uh, and this is a great way to get students interacting and, and they love it you're gonna see that that's the thing about it is they're gonna be willing to do it uh, if you sign it for homework and you give them a few days if they don't have internet access to maybe stay after school or to go to the library or to do anything they they uh, need to do to get online uh, it's a real nice way uh, to get them working and as you can see under latest activity already uh, we've got Neil McLean commented on Mark Barnes blog post um, it tells you when it was done it's a real nice kind of a timestamp if you wanted to use that feature as well um, down here you see uh, chat and uh, right now Neil McLean's the only one online so he's the only one in the chat room but you could also use the chat room if you wanted to and uh, there's a variety of ways you could do it. You could do it in school, you could do it out of school. Uh, obviously internet access is important. Uh, it might be the kind of thing that you might not make it mandatory. You could use it for extra credit. Hey, if you guys jump into a chat one night about something, you could uh, throw some extra credit their way. But that's uh, another real nice feature and this is just a, a real good example of how Web 2.0 works. Okay, so I'm hoping you will be able to make a classroom like this and to put up an activity as well. So have some fun with Ning.com.